This isn't about Rich Piana dying. This isn't about Dallas McCarver dying. This is about the dangers of insulin use in bodybuilding and in fitness in general and in gaining size. And this is a video you need to watch. Ooh! everyone, Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, CEO, MTS Nutrition. First off, I'd like to state for the record, this article is not about rumors or whatever about why Rich Piana died. This video is not about why Dallas McCarver died. This video is a video utilizing something that was seen in the news within our industry today to bring an issue to light that I think a lot of people don't take note of. And that is insulin use. Now, my wife told me she saw an article about Rich Piana's death in Generation Iron. It was posted on her Facebook. I don't personally go on Facebook or use my personal Facebook unless I'm tagged in something. So I would have never seen it. But just for the record, I like the people at Generation Iron. I really do. But I think because it's hard to make money in this industry, no one's really going to buy a bodybuilding DVD. They're scrambling for ad revenue to, you know, keep up their high-end production value stuff. So what they're doing, they're trying to sell ads and they're trying to get views to justify the sale of their ads, which is why they've pretty much become the TMZ of our industry. They report on everything. They're very clickbaity and it's kind of annoying at times, but they do break some cool stories. Not sure if this one was even worth printing. Not sure if this one really... Um, does any justice and they cite a source who's just guessing but <laughs> nonetheless I'm going to use this as an opportunity to talk about insulin use in bodybuilding here's the article it's um fitness expert claims Rich Piana died due to insulin you can see it zoom in focus right there all right so complication from insulin use could insulin be to blame for the passing of Rich Piana and okay it goes into it um it basically talks about insulin. So here's what this guy said. By taking, um, but taking insulin has some major risks. When you inject insulin into your body, you must take all the necessary measures to balance the sugar levels in your body. This means getting the right amount of food into your body within a certain period of time. In a way, it's like playing Russian roulette and hoping to come out unscathed. In an interview with Daily Star, Matt Fetus said the following. He's supposedly his fitness expert. I've never heard of Matt Fetus, F-I-D-D-E-S. Here's his quote. He would naturally take a pre-workout and then get to the photo shoot, do some press-ups, whatever the fuck a press-up is, I guess that's a push-up, some curls, get his body in condition, then come home, says Fetus. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right, but I don't really give a fuck. Um, they have to eat enough sugar to balance the insulin just like a diabetic would, other they will go into a coma and die. If the photo shoot dragged on a little bit, he may not have eaten... He may, he may not have eaten um, enough sugars to balance what insulin he would have taken. Very presumptive, but I mean, it's as believable as any other story I've heard. And uh, honestly, the story that I heard of, you know, the white powder on the table being pre-workout, then him getting a haircut. Let's be real here. We haven't really heard a very feasible reason why Rich Piana died yet. Other than the fact that he passed out, hit his head, and uh, he's no longer with us. And I don't know if they'll ever disclose that autopsy or cause of death because it might not look good on him or his existing company and everybody involved in it. And I honestly, you know, HIPAA laws and everything, it's nobody's right to know why he died if they don't want that information out there. Same with uh, Dallas McCarver, God rest his soul. I wouldn't have even questioned it, but the fact that his roommate at the time said he took insulin, my only logical step is to believe if he did choke on food, the bottom line is the reflect the, um, the gag reflex in young, young males is extremely strong and you know unless he has some pre-existing esophageal condition to believe that his body wouldn't expel that is pretty hard to believe so i think one plausible i guess it's all a guess if you want to go the insulin route let's just bring these up because people have died from insulin little message board users npc guys have died and no one even talks about it because they're nobodies you know at the end of the day, he could have been an insulin, insulin, he could have had that insulin crash, tried to get carbs in, mad fervor getting carbs in, goes into the insulin coma, passes out, is unable to gag reflux it up. Who knows?
Bottom line is I don't think we're talking enough about the dangers of insulin. Everybody thinks that it is the key to getting big. Bottom line is, yeah, it does help. It's the most anabolic substance you could take. It literally rushes nutrients into your muscles, carbs, protein, you name it. It rushes them into muscles. It's more anabolic than any steroid you can ever take. That's why it's worth the risk of dying if you can pay your bills and get that much bigger. A lot of bodybuilders do not use insulin. There are a lot of pro bodybuilders, I know them personally, who do not use insulin. How do I know? I've trained with the top bodybuilders. The guy's on insulin, he's gonna be rushing to get carbs post-workout. Most of the guys I train with after the workout, they're just chilling, hanging out, talking. They might miss a meal. A lot of bodybuilders who aren't on insulin are actually pretty lax about getting nutrients in. So not every large pro bodybuilder is on a ton of insulin. <clears throat> However, some of the top trainers in the industry, it's part of their standard protocol, insulin, insulin. And a lot of you will say, I know I'm going to get a lot of comments, which say, well, you know, insulin, only dummies die using it. You do this, that, and the other. It only takes that one mismeasurement, that one misdose. You're looking at taking two IUs versus seven IUs versus 20 IUs. Difference in two IUs and 20 IUs based on the amount of carbohydrate you intake is death. A lot of kids think it's what they need to do to get to that next level. And also, let's look at the deleterious potential side effects. Some think that the insulin is the cause of the distended bellies in a lot of these pro bodybuilders. I'm not sure if that's the case. I don't think anybody's sure. But insulin does one thing. Okay, it allows you to pack on more mass. It's the storage hormone, which causes you to store shit, and it allows you to eat more food. It brings up your appetite because of avoiding hypoglycemia, so you're allowed, uh, able to take in more calories, which means that influx of food will, it has to go somewhere. So it's gonna go in your stomach. But that's besides the point. A bloated belly is nothing compared to death. And there's only two bodybuilding drugs I know of that can cause immediate death from a miscue and that is DNP and insulin. And both of them, the difference between miscuing and absolute anabolic awesomeness, or I'm sorry for DNP fat loss awesomeness, is a percentage of a percent. DNP, you're aiming to take 200 milligrams or whatever the dose is, you accidentally take 400, you burn from the inside out and you die. Insulin, you take that carbohydrate, you, ta you take that insulin, you mistime your carbohydrate, you don't take in enough of them, before you know it, you're laying face up. But then people will say, see, I'm, I'm handling your objections right away. Because I know a lot of you pro-insulin drug guys are going to be going crazy in the comment section. Okay, well, you can feel the effects coming on. When you're in a, 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 a basically a debilitated state, if you're in a, um, an absolutely just messed up state where you're, you're fumbling, stumbling. If you've ever had hypoglycemia, say you eat a high carbohydrate meal post-workout, have a dextrose and whey shake, you're completely fucked up. You're like, uh, you start to see shit. And what if you can't get to that Coca-Cola? What if you're driving home? You know, maybe you advanced users. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe that's the thing. But a lot of these guys dying are advanced users. Let's assume for a second, just for shits and giggles, that that is actually what caused McCarver's death. That is what his roommate said on the 911 call, that he'd been taking insulin. Now, let's assume that that happened. Do you not think McCarver wasn't experienced in insulin use? See, you can mess up. You could take 500 milligrams of your testosterone enanthate instead of taking um, uh, 250 milligrams. You could take, I don't know, you could take a gram of Tren instead of taking, two, instead of taking 75 milligrams. It's not going to kill you. Insulin and... DNP will kill you. It only takes one. So the question you need to ask yourself is if it is a wise choice to use something that can end your life in one miscue. So, moral of the story is you shouldn't use insulin. If you're a top five contender at the Olympia, chances are if you can't turn pro without insulin, you don't belong on the pro stage. Once you get to that pro stage and you start moving your way up, if insulin is what you need, you know what? That's a decision for you to make as an adult. Personal responsibility, personally, I wouldn't touch it, okay? But then again, you're pretty much looking at the best I've ever been. Right now, I'm 216 pounds. I'm not 280. About 6% body fat. Five foot seven inches tall. It didn't make me taller either, okay? With insulin, could I be 226 at this body fat? Probably. Is that 10 pounds 
worth the risk? That's what I ask you. Comment down below, guys. Do you think insulin, do you think insulin is worth the potential risk of dying? And while you're at it, why don't you click on another link, sign up for our newsletter. We have a lot of epic things coming. Also, our rewards program at Tiger Fitness. Each purchase, each dollar you spend is worth two points. Epic free stuff, guys. Appreciate you coming on. Appreciate everything. Again, appreciate you watching this. Let's discuss, okay? This is not a video about Rich Piana dying. This is a video about insulin use. And I'm also, I'm also citing another, another mag magazine, which I feel might or might not be sensationalizing from a fitness expert I've never fucking heard of, and I'm supposedly a fitness expert too. And that's not a game.